Hi everybody and welcome to a quick overview of the ProBuilder 2.3 GUI. This is going to be basically just an intro to run over, uh, run through all the GUI items and then we'll move on in future tutorials to how to actually use this system and go into more uh, advanced subjects. So first of all, let's close this panel and so to open it, to open the ProBuilder main, main GUI panel, just go to Tools, ProBuilder and then ProBuilder window. This will pop open that panel, which is uh, where everything lives for the tool. So first of all, the new panel is now dynamic, and I find it works best to set it. Um, I keep it in docked mode, but I leave it floating. Uh, whatever works for you, you can right-click and change it to a dockable if you'd like, or floating. Uh, either works fine. And then just set this up usually to take up as little space as possible off to the side. So first of all, a couple elements within here. First area is the toggle for which element mode you're in, be it vert, edge, or face. So if I click on the object, you can see these changing here. You also notice with any ProBuilder object selected, you get the object versus element uh, indicator up here, which is also a toggle to move between those, uh, those two modes. Below that, we have the uh, tools palettes you can open for the shapes, creating new shapes, materials, the UV editor, vertex colors, and the smoothing groups. Below that we have uh, actions, and this entire area below here will be dynamic based on what you, have what you currently have selected and the current mode you're in. So if I enter one of the element modes, you'll notice that these switch to uh, quite a few more items. And also they're all grayed out because I have nothing selected. As you select things and move between different modes, that changes based on what you have selected there. So again, we're not going to get into this just yet, but that is the actions area of the new GUI panel. At the very bottom of the panel, we have the entity types. And of course, these are something that we'll get into in detail in a future tutorial. But basically here, you can turn on and off the types and set them as well. So that's it for the GUI in the panel. Up top, there's also quite a few options under Tools, Pro Builder, and then we have Editor Actions, Selection, Geometry, Repair Tools, etc. Quite a bit within here. And if that's something that you're interested in knowing exactly what is available, you can go to the Pro Builder docs and scroll all the way to the very bottom, and we have a list of all the features in an index, which you can click on and go directly to the um, documentation area describing how that's used and uh, where you might need it. And that's all for the GUI, so make sure and jump in for the other tutorials where we will start talking about how to actually work with ProBuilder, creating geometry, uh, editing textures, and so forth. So thanks, and see you there.